I have retinitis pigmentosa. It's a degenerative eye disease that for some reason is relatively stable. My uncle has been a funeral director since basically he came back from Vietnam. Um, he lives in New Orleans, has my whole life, but I've always listened to him talk about, you know, his adventures and everything and helping families and it's something that caught my interest from, man, I don't even know how old I was. As far back as I can remember, when I would go to a funeral or visitation, I would spend the whole time not paying attention to my family, but paying attention to the staff and what they were doing and how they were helping people. And you could just see certain people that would walk in the door all stressed out and upset. And it's like some, a, a director or somebody could say something calming or answer just a simple question and it's like their whole whole demeanor changed it's like they just their comfort level it, it was really fascinating to me my dad had come up to visit and I think I was actually he came up I was gonna go down and visit for the weekend I asked him to come up kind of early and we we started going to every funeral home I could think of within driving distance and of course, most of what I kept getting was, we're not hiring right now, we can't afford to hire right now, I'll call you if we need anybody, all of that. And the first person that actually acted like they cared was <laughs> Greg. I came in here and met Greg and another guy that was working here at the time, and I could tell when I left that Greg sincerely actually cared, and I knew that was somebody I needed to stay in contact with. It wasn't just you know, I'll call you if we need help, or we can't afford to hire anybody. I could tell he actually took an interest in realizing that I was serious in what I was wanting to do. I think a lot of people just, when I walked in, saw a, a cane and thought, well, he's blind, he can't do this, we can't hire him. Apparently, Greg did not see that. From the day he and his dad walked into here, I was taken by this young man and his uh, desire to be a funeral director. Uh, I didn't look at any of his limitations. Um, I felt that we could overcome those situations, that um, he, he had a gift and that he could offer his uh, energies to families. I felt his compassion in his heart, in his voice. Well, I mean, it's what I've always wanted to do. It's, it's a step towards my, you know, my goal. And it's, it's in my community. I get to, you know, meet families in my community and um, help them as much as I can. Needless to say, there's, there's just been a lot of mountains and hilltops that we've had to cross uh, to get him here. But um, I was very excited when we were able to get him hired on. And now it's just getting the processes of him having the proper tools as he meets with a family uh, in being able to complete his position, his job. I was actually talking with Greg about it the other day. I don't see, there's a way to do everything. Obviously with screen readers and braille note takers, different things like that. Pretty much everything I need to do can be done. We're here to help support each other, and so uh, I just feel that um, we can help him overcome any obstacles. There will be a few things he can't do as to driving, but there are others who can take care of that position. So it's, uh, we don't need to look at driving a car as a, as a disability for him because Meeting with families and uh, uh, just exercising his profession with the families and listening to their needs and providing the service, that's what it's about. And we have support staff that can help us, whether it's reading the names on a flower card or if it's, again, having to transport the casket to church or to the cemetery we can overcome those issues. Obviously, I'd have to use JAWS more than likely. Um, there's paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. <laughs> Reads everything. 
any anything that's displayed up on the screen, it's going to read it. Forms to fill out, it's going to read every spot, so I can fill them in. Um, any any type of paperwork, it's going to as if I was holding it in my hand. You know, say I scanned a document or something, and I can sit there and read through the whole thing or whatever's already online. I can fill out what I need to and print it out, do whatever I need. I've not looked at his um, impaired sight as a, any type of a disability for us. Um, uh, as I have served at this location for the last uh, 27 years, numerous blind folks and who have made such a change in our community with their professions and their resources, um, I just really wanted to see him achieve this, this, um, this dream of being a funeral director. Uh, I know he can make a difference with the families that he serves. He can, I believe he can make a difference with us as directors and with the community in showing others who possibly has similar situ um, um, impairments that anyone can do anything if they put their heart and minds to it. In my experience, a lot of people when somebody passes, you know, family or close friends, they're totally lost. They have no idea what to do. And helping them know what the next step is and where to go with it, that can mean a lot to people. From just watching him interact there at the door when a family walks in to uh, how he greets them, uh, uh, giving them uh, just, you can feel a person's um, feelings in their voice. Um, and he just very much cares and I mean trying to offer them guidance as to back here to the visiting room or showing them to the coffee lounge or the number one question here is where's the restroom or lounge and so just trying to make yourself available for the public so as they don't have to be looking for us it's just it's just being there and being prepared for them to ask I mean for a lot of people it's one of the hardest times of their life and you know the, the chance to help them through that and make it easier for them that's it feels good to be able to do that. As a licensed funeral director, and the first licensed, at least in Kentucky, visually impaired funeral director. For those who cannot see past any of these uh, like disabilities, as I'll say, it's just sad that we tried to put up a, a wall uh, of negative. Uh, I mean, I'm all about being open-minded and trying to be positive, and that's just the way I've always tried to be. And so uh, I just want to see him become the best director. Um, I was given that opportunity. I had to work hard to get where I am, and, and I just I have that desire to see that. Josh becomes the very best director that he can as he serves families. That's my, that's my desire. I believe everybody should have an opportunity. Give them a chance. They might show you wrong that they can. Maybe even do it better than yourself. Believe in them. Give them a chance. I don't know. I, I, you're either born with it or you're not, I guess. I mean, maybe the fact that I am observant, I notice more things, and there's that. They say it's a calling. You want to help people, and I guess that's really what it is. The reality of a dream. <laughs>